Hello, welcome back to Fragmental, I'm Chris. Sometimes in the comments of my videos, I get asked where I buy my fragrances. People want to know where you can buy fragrances cheaper and which sites are trustworthy. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to answer all those questions and give you a fragrance buying guide. Stay tuned. It can be a bit of a minefield out there when you're buying fragrances. People want to know where they can get discounted fragrances from and often people do worry, quite rightly so, about whether they're buying fakes or whether they're buying real fragrances. So I'm going to give you all my experiences I've had over the years of buying fragrances and hopefully put your mind at rest about some websites where you are questioning the legitimacy of them and whether they were genuine products and also give you some recommendations about how you can buy cheaper fragrances. I am based in the UK so when I'm talking about online purchases I'll mainly be talking about where you can buy from if you are also based in the UK but at the end of this video I'm going to let you know what is potentially the cheapest way to buy fragrances and that will apply to anyone anywhere in the world. Let's start with possibly the one that everyone is most interested in. Where can you get your fragrances cheaper so you're not having to pay full retail? By far, the two discounter websites I've used the most over the years are Natino and All Beauty. Both offer fragrances usually cheaper than full retail, sometimes a lot cheaper than full retail. They offer designer and niche fragrances, so if there's something specifically that you're looking for, it's always worth checking on Natino and All Beauty before you look anywhere else, just in case it's one of those fragrances that is heavily discounted at the time you're looking for it. I know the US also used to have Natino, but I don't think you guys have it anymore, unfortunately. I do get asked quite a lot in comments about Natino and are they trustworthy? Are you going to receive genuine products when you buy from them? I get why sometimes I guess the prices seem too good to be true, but sometimes they, they must just get a crate at a reduced cost. I think it's grey market stuff, so it is genuine products, but depending on where they're getting it from, they can sell it for quite a bit cheaper than full retail. I've been using the Tino and All Beauty for years now, and I've had nothing but exemplary service. And uh, as far as I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've only ever received genuine products. Another online discounter based here in the UK is Seasense.com. They stock designer and niche, although I think it is mainly niche. I know the guys who run it, great guys. You can get some really good discounts with Seasense. It's definitely safe to buy from them. Hoagiesonline.co.uk. You don't hear them mentioned very much. They don't seem to come up in searches very often, so perhaps they're not optimized uh, for the search engines. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but they offer maybe slightly cheaper than retail fragrances, but they do offer fragrances that have damaged boxes. They call them blemished boxes. So in the listing on the website, it tells you if it comes in a blemished box, sometimes they can be significantly cheaper. I've bought from them in the past. Obviously they're based in the UK, so it got to me pretty quickly. And even though it was listed as a blemished box when I received it, I, I couldn't see any problem with the box. And even if you do get one with a visibly damaged box, then does it really matter that much? Most people probably aren't bothered about the boxes. So if that's you, then definitely check out hoagiesonline.co.uk. It's a good option. The last online discounter I'm gonna mention is TK Maxx. And yes, in the UK, it is called TK Maxx. People in the US seem to have a bit of a, an issue with TK Maxx not being called TJ Maxx because that's what it's called in their country. But no, it is different here. As far as I know, same store, exactly the same as in the state. Often you can find really great discounted gems in TK Maxx. It is hit and miss, it's a bit random what they have in stock. For example, before Christmas they had quite a lot of stock. Now you go into their stores and online and they've barely got any stock, so it does fluctuate. But it's always worth checking out and it's kind of fun going into the physical stores and rifling through all the fragrances to see if you can find that undiscovered gem that nobody else has managed to find. I found quite a good one. It's Tuscan Leather Intense, which is now discontinued. So. Somehow they had a discontinued Tom Ford private blend. The price on it was cheaper than full retail and obviously it wasn't being sold anywhere else, but I, I picked it up in TK Maxx. You can visit the physical stores or go online. I think the prices are the same, whichever one you do. So if you're not near a store, go and look at TK Maxx online. The next section is about online fragrance stores that are not discounters, but they often have really good discount codes. One of my favourites is Essential. I've bought a lot from them in the past and customer service has always been fantastic. I know the team. I did a couple of online promotional events with them. They're all really lovely. One of the best purchases I made from Essential was when they had a discount promotion running. They often have 20%, sometimes 25% off. I really wanted 
Amouage Reflection 45. Full retail, that is £390. That's pretty steep. I'm not saying it's not worth it. That is perfectly affordable for some people, but let's be honest, for a lot of people, £400 for a fragrance is a lot of money to pay. With the 25% discount from Essential, I got pretty much £100 off that, so I went for it. Still expensive, but when you're making that sort of saving, it's definitely tempting to make the purchase. I love the fragrance. I really wanted it, so I decided to, to go for it. Great website, great service, and keep an eye out for those discount promotions. Another site that has some good discounts on from time to time is Look fantastic they have a selection of designer a niche i've bought from them in the past and it's always been quick delivery good service so can definitely recommend another site that often has online discounts and sounds similar to the last one although i don't think they're connected is right let me get this right look good feel great smell fantastic didn't sebastian used to have a, a channel with that name anyway some good prices on there you can currently pick up Leighton from parfum de Mali. full retail on it is 230 pounds but they are selling it for 184, so pretty fantastic saving on that one. Sephora UK comes up in our UK searches. I've never purchased from them, but they've been around for a long time, so I'm sure they're a pretty reputable company. Another site that I've used quite often, which isn't necessarily known for fragrances, is Amazon. You can get Prime next day free delivery. So if there's a fragrance you've got your eyes on and maybe you're going away and you want that guarantee that you're going to get it before you go in a day or two, then it's really worth looking if the fragrance you want is on Amazon. And Armaf is there. Armaf is on Amazon, so pretty good place if, if you want some fast Armaf. Fragrance Direct, another site which I think is based in the UK, made a few purchases from them over the years and uh, it's always been fine. I cannot talk about where you can buy fragrances online without giving my own website a shameless, shameless plug. It's Lux Parfum. I'm sure many of you know that already. We've had lots of people purchasing from us since we started it about 18 months ago. We sell mostly full retail. The reason for that is we wanted to cultivate good relationships with the brands and buy direct from them rather than buying from the grey market and then offering really heavy discounts. Although we do have discount codes from time to time. We offer well-known brands like Nasamato and Roger Parfums. And one of the things we really like to do is give UK customers the option of buying products from overseas. So particularly American products like Mahur Olfactive, Zaharoff, Rogue, Gallagher Fragrances, Argos. You can buy those often from the States, but shipping costs will be high and you're potentially gonna get hit with import fees. So we wanted to give UK customers the chance to buy these fragrances hassle-free without incurring extra costs. Obviously, if you buy from Lux, you'll get nothing but the best customer service. And if you email the customer service with a legitimate customer service query, then uh, it'll be me that answers the email. Let's talk about how to get fragrances before anyone else, before they're even released in the UK. I've used overseas companies quite a lot. The main ones are Parfum Dreams, My Origins and Sabina. Great way of getting fragrances before they're released in the UK. So if it's important to you that you want to have it before anyone else, then you can use these overseas websites. Often the shipping is a little higher, but it's not as ridiculous as you might think. And you may be waiting a little longer than if you ordered it from a company based in the UK. But in my experience, they've always come certainly sort of a week, if not sooner than that. I think a couple of times the shipping was free to the UK. Apart from Dreams is a company based in Germany and sometimes see people questioning how trustworthy they are. I think maybe they, they search that and they find Trustpilot and they see anything from a one star review all the way up to a five star review. So that inconsistency I think worries some people sometimes. There's a one star review on there at the moment. Someone said that they just received an empty box. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, there are other people dropping five-star reviews that are singing the praises of the company. I've ordered from them quite a few times and I've never had a problem. I've never received just an empty box. It's always come fast. So Apart From Dreams is one of my go-tos for good service and for getting fragrances before the UK release date. I'm just gonna cover myself here. Obviously, I can't guarantee that if you use this company, you won't have a bad experience. I think it's probably unlikely, and I can only speak from my own experience, which has been good, but just covering myself that if you do have a bad experience, uh, it's not on me. The other ones are My Origins. They're based in France and Sabina. They're based in Spain. You might pay a little bit of shipping with those, although if you spend enough, I think shipping might actually be free, but I've had good experiences with both of those. I've got early release fragrances, recommend. 
Of course, if you're willing to pay mostly full retail and you don't want any question of fakes or anything that is not trustworthy, you can buy from the very well established, very trustworthy high street stores. The main ones here in the UK are Boots, Selfridges, Liberty, Harrods, the perfume shop and the fragrance shop. They all have physical stores, but you can purchase from them online as well. Then you've got cheaper high street fragrances. Most clothing stores like Zara, River Island, Next, they'll all offer some fragrances. More often than not, they are copies of designer fragrances. I think now and then maybe you'll find an original. They are quite a lot cheaper probably between 10 and 20 pounds for most of the fragrances. The only caveat with them is often they don't last as long. They're not going to have the longevity of the original fragrances that they're imitating. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you will find one that does have good performance. When I go and have my hair cut, my hairdresser wears Zara's version of Baccarat Rouge 540. It's called Red Temptation and she was cutting my hair and I said, you're wearing Baccarat Rouge, aren't you? She went, well, I'm glad you mentioned that because no, I'm not. I'm wearing the Zara imitation, which I think costs about 17 pounds. She'd had it on for about six or seven hours and it was still wafting off and she hadn't even sprayed that much of it. So from what I've smelt, if you want a good dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540, then Zara's Red Temptation seems like a good option to me. We've got to talk about eBay. Obviously, you can buy your fragrances from there, but I would proceed with caution because with eBay, it's hard to know whether you're getting a genuine product. I'm sure that many people are selling genuine fragrances on there, but with eBay, it's just a little more difficult to trust the seller. That applies heavily to buying samples and decants because there's nothing to stop dishonest people from saying they're offering you a genuine bit of juice and it could just be a pretty decent clone that they've put in a decant bottle. Most people are probably none the wiser. They think maybe they're getting a high-end Tom Ford for a really decent decant price and uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's from another company. So just be careful with eBay. On the subject of samples and decants, there are two companies that I've used here in the UK which are great. The first one is FragranceSamplesUK.com. That's run by Greggy Boy, who has a YouTube channel, so very trustworthy, and he has a great selection. The other one I've used that also seems to have a really good selection is Scent Samples. There's another way you can buy your fragrances. You can also buy dun 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 clones. If you're okay with buying clones, there's quite a few options here in the UK, some reputable companies. The company that started everything off for me, I probably would not have started this YouTube channel if it weren't for this company, Perfume Parlor. They are the cheapest, which is why I ended up starting the channel because I could buy lots of fragrances from them. I was mainly buying these 10 ml bottles for around about five pounds. They have a great selection and it just gave me the opportunity to try so many different fragrances. And often if I found one I really liked, once I'd finished the Perfume Parlor bottle, I'd either buy again from Perfume Parlor or sometimes I would then buy the original fragrance. Both the UK and the US websites for Alexandria fragrances are definitely a good option. I know both the guys who run the company. I love Alexandria fragrances. Some of my favorite versions of fragrances are Alexandria. Sometimes they're even better than the originals because they can be stronger, they can last longer. Just off the top of my head, No Apologies, which is their version of Nasamato's Pardon, and Royal Equestrian, their version of Parfum de Mali's Leighton, both excellent and I think more powerful than the originals. Similar company to Alexandria is Dua Fragrances. I think if you buy from Dua from within the UK, you are going to pay a bit of extra shipping because I don't think they yet ship from the UK. But great site, great fragrances. Again, often stronger versions of original fragrances. I know Masam who runs the company and he's a really good guy too. Then you've also got these Middle Eastern clone houses like Latafa and Ardal Zafran. They're not outwardly saying they are copying other fragrances, but that's pretty much what their whole business model is based on. You're going to be paying anything from between, say, 10 and 30 pounds. Generally, I found the quality is great. I know I said be wary of eBay, but eBay is probably your best bet for these fragrances. If you find sellers that are selling brands like Latafa and Ard Al Zafran, I think you're pretty safe with those. I've never had any problems. They're not people that are trying to be dishonest and sell you what they're saying is a genuine fragrance and then it's it's a fake. So it's a sort of a different area of eBay. So if you want those great value Middle East and cheapies, eBay is your best option. Finally, and this applies to anyone anywhere in the world, it's potentially the cheapest way to buy 
your fragrances, Facebook. If you can get into one of these Facebook groups, it's a great way of buying cheaper partial bottles. In these groups, people are buying and selling all the time. Often you'll find that people in the Facebook groups are fragheads, so they wanna buy a certain fragrance that they've heard good things about without smelling it, so they blind buy it. Maybe they don't like it, so they'll flip it, sell it on to somebody else. So there's all sorts of good trading going on in these Facebook groups. It is not bulletproof. There is still a chance that you're gonna get defrauded in the Facebook groups. It does happen from time to time. They do try their best to monitor the sellers to make sure no one's trying to defraud anyone, but from time to time, people do slip through the net and someone might pay for something that they never received. But what you can do in these groups is legit check them. So you can ask in the group if anyone's purchased from this seller and if they can vouch for them. And if people come back overwhelmingly and say, yep, safe to purchase from this person then you know that you're pretty much going to be okay going ahead with that purchase to get into these facebook groups what i would recommend doing is just going into facebook going into the search option and just type in fragrance buying and selling and it will come up with a big list of groups find the ones that are based in your country and apply to join often there's a few questions you've got to answer to get in there but if you're into fragrances you'll probably be able to answer them really easily and uh, get into a few groups and see what's uh, floating around in there partial bottles are a great way of building up your collection when we've got so many we don't always need full bottles anyway some of my favorite fragrances i bought partials from in facebook groups i remember two of my earliest niche fragrance purchases i got about a 75 percent full bottle of a 2016 Aventus and I bought the older version of Serge Leton's Shergi. Got those from Facebook groups, would never have paid full retail at the time I bought those. So yeah, really good if you wanna build your collection and you wanna keep costs down. Whew. So I think that is it. All the links to the websites and stores that I mentioned, I will try to put them down in the description for you. If you think I've not mentioned anything, please do drop something down in the comments. That would be great, because I'm sure I probably have forgotten a few things. I've tried to be as comprehensive as possible, but this is largely based on my own experiences, and you may have had experiences with companies that I haven't, so it'd be great if you could share your information down there. And if you've got any questions about anything I've mentioned, then drop that in the comments too, and I will do my best to answer those for you. We are talking here about buying fragrances, so I do wanna just say fragrance buying can get addictive, just like with anything else. It's not specific to fragrances. If you get into something, if you get into a hobby, it's hard not to get a little bit obsessive about it, and maybe you might start making more purchases than you should. Just be careful, set yourself a monthly budget, really try hard not to go over that, and just manage the buying in a responsible way. I hope that's been helpful. I've done my best to cram all my experiences of buying fragrances over the years into this video. If you liked it, if you found it useful, you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.